yeah welcome to the today class so we today we have move for that uh, other topic uh, other hardware description language see other hardware description language we need to concentrate on verilog model for a simple circuit so there are different types of programming languages are also available the one is vhdl the another one is verilog as per the syllabus we need to concentrate both verilog as well as the vhdl so what is the difference between the verilog and vhdl when in detail we will uh, we will learn on the coming classes today we are basically concentrate on how to do the simulation uh, for the programming language the v verilog using xilinx i will give the a step by step introduction uh, for the basic gates not gate and gate or gate how can we do it uh, before that what is an uh, verilog we get it the hardware description language is for we are doing the manual method for designing any logic circuits or feasible for only when the circuit is small but when we are talk about in the practical circuit the designer to use computer based design to to reduce the cost and minimize the risk of creating uh, for the design for this purpose it's a time consuming and too expensive so we are uh, coming up with a modern design tool for the hardware description language to describe the design of the test circuit so for that we have more for the language is hardware description language computer based language that describes the hardware of digital circuit in the textual form uh, uh, before advancing of this hardware language we are using for the schematic block diagram with the basic logic gates but it is uh, prone to error uh, while coming at the results and costly to edit and it is uh, it will not suitable for the complex circuit so because of that uh, in contrast of that we are moved on to the hdl the hdl is based design tool to create a hdl description for the schematic automatical and correct for this product for this we are for modeling language uh, rather than the computational languages uh, apart from this we most uh, concentrate on the programming part so now we have uh, let me go for the programming first first but theoretically we will come to explain in detail later so now i have the planning is i have to implement by using a not gate and gate or gate i using a very large code so when i talk about you have to do the very large code i have to write a code uh, first i should be know about the structure of the very large code then i can uh, do for the programming in that one for this uh, we have taken the simple programming uh, there are when i have to write a programming there are three different ways can be read the same program a very large a hardware description lang can be written by using structural modeling data flow modeling as well as the behavioral model but we are commonly we are using uh, uh, easy way of understanding the data flow modeling we are using so i am taking the part of how to execute the programming in data flow modeling a uh, data flow modeling the structure i am explaining whenever i want to write a programming we verila code i should be use the name of the programming the first i should be use the keyword is the module the module is the keyword uh, the module followed by the name of the program i have to give a uh, name of the program don't give the what is the keyword is available in the verila other than the keyword and you should be specify the name of the module and followed by number of inputs and number of outputs i should be label the input and output so i am taking input as a and i am defining output as y so then uh, at the end you should be give the semicolon next i am defining what is a what is y uh, a will be acting as input i have to define an input the y is an acting as an output i am defining output so after that i need to write the code for what type of logic operation i need to perform i need to perform the logic operation of the not not gate then i have to use the keyword as an assign in the data flow modeling the assign i i take the output as y and i should be using equal or negation symbol i want to get invert of a uh, then i have to use a see there is only one line of code uh, that is a not gate and i should be ended with the end module then i need to verify by using this verilog code and this is my truth table input a is equal to 0 output y is equal to 1 and uh, then output input is 1 output is 5 then the same thing uh, how to can we do it by using the simulations let move for the simulation part uh, whenever you, we are installing xilinx then we will get a in the desktop you will get an icon for the xilinx ise see in this you need to oh, do the programming for the very large program so whenever you start this uh, you should be go to oh, the we have click on that uh you will get in a uh, uh, window uh, like this click on this file and what any other file is already created you should be click uh, close project or else you go to the new project 
and you have to define your project name and you should be give the project location mm -hmm. also if you want to give the project location create a di uh, any directory file and give the path of that one and i'm giving my project name as uh, maya then i have to give the top level source type the top level source type we have a four option see out of this i need to select the hdl hardware description language then click on next then you would want to create because i if you already exist that the same name it will asking for this window and then it is your wish either overwrite or you can with a new file so i am clicking say overwrite yes then we'll get the other window new project wizard see this you have to set up uh, we have to set all those things the product category is all and family of this we are using xc9500 cpld and device name is xc9572 whenever you uh, first time you need to set all those things the remaining uh, it, it by default it is stored all those things whatever you are using the package is pc84 and speed is minus 15 and synthesis tool we are using for uh, both vhdl and verilog uh, because of that i am getting this and simulator either if you want to do vhdl choose the vhdl or for verilog choose the verilog so now i am concentrate for the verilog uh, i have to choose the model simulator uh, isc verilog so coming of the classes i will explaining different way of the simulator how to use it the right now i am i am planning for explanation for the verilog i am choosing for the verilog programming and preferred language is verilog uh, by default it will take the verilog programming and uh, after setting for all those things you click on next then i need to give the program name under the project file maya then you have to click on new source uh, what is the type of the file is verilog program i need to set the verilog module and i have to give the file name the file name i am giving not underscore uh, uh, one that's the name i am providing you can give anything so i am doing not git and that's the first one and whichever your location you want to store the program you can give the choose the location i already choose the location is maya just click on that add click then if we already know uh, which is input which is output we can define all the port name here i uh, we can know a can be give us an in and a can be act as input output or in and out depends upon the program you have to set a is input or output uh, if you don't know anything about that I'll, also you can skip this part or uh, directly go the next and we have to give the finish button then we will be asking for that this window click on next and click on next and click on finish so when you done this uh, you will get this window uh, whatever this window indicates so we we have a uh, write the module as the keyword uh, followed by name of the program is not underscore one and uh, followed by the end module see within this module and end module we need to write the code so then i have to write the code for a is my input comma y any order you can also write let me define what is an input input is a uh, semicolon we have to write the input is a semicolon the next is output the output i am defining as a y i put a semicolon then i had to write the code assign as a keyword assign y is equal to the negation of a so now i am i am creating the file for uh, how to do the basic not git so once the file is a type you need to save the file uh, go to that we have a file save the button so after saving i need to compile and i need to execute see there are two types of uh, sources are there see we have synthesis model and behavioral model still we are in synthesis model choose that one and i have to run the program and we have a design utilities and implementation design so you click on this uh, design implementation so we have all five as there you just right click on implementation design and click run if there is any error it will display the error if there is no error it will automatically compile and it will generate another type of file uh, then it will display in the window once we will generate that file and your file is there is no error you are ready to do the execution so once you get these uh, cpl reports of the window uh, you have to change your source part uh, click on this we move to the be behavior simulation under behavior simulation you will get the model simulator click on this and click a uh, right click and run it because i need to give the input and i want to uh, check the output of this because of that we are go to the model sim if it is uh, completely is correct and you will get this blank screen i uh, want to maximize that window so now i have to set the input and output 
and you are there is an option uh, initially whatever is there you just restart click on the restart and you will get all the will be closed then i have to give the input and output so whenever i want to give the input and output go to this one uh, right click and you have to give the force uh, force i have to give the value i am giving zero click on okay when i am passing a is equal to zero i need to get the output as one to run the program there is a down arrow there is a run button click on this so whenever i am giving input is zero you can see input is zero and my output is one so i want to check for another uh, utilities uh, go to again force i have to change the value as as one uh, click on okay and again run see when the input is one the output is zero see continuously you can run any number of times uh, what value you want to give as uh, a zero we are providing uh, if you run you will get one or if you want to run the same thing you can click on this the similar way uh, this is i am explicitly i am giving uh, input and uh, i am seeing the output so the your the graph is uh, completely is working on the basic not gate that is means uh, we are doing the programming very lag so that is when you complete this logic gates so you can move for the next program before moving we should be close your window and we should be go to your programming part the part of the programming we should be get it for this you can just close the uh, uh, window of the model simulator so we will get it this so then you have to close your file project the close projects that means uh, the completion of one program is done uh, let me you can also do the same program by using test benches also the next class uh, we will teach you uh, how the same program can be done by using uh, text benches also can be created. instead of giving manually for the input and output i can also uh, give the test benches for that one uh, we will move on to the next video for the text benches thank you